What's up guys, Gun Scorch here, and today for you guys I have another unturned video. Uh, about five or six hours ago somebody commented on my melee YouTube video and requested a ranged weapon tutorial. So that is what this is. Uh, I figured ranged weapon, probably a rifle would be the most consistent one, uh, rather than a pistol of some sorts. Uh, so we're gonna be doing. Y'all, y'all aren't ready for this. The uh, we're doing Crossfire's Born Beast AK-47, uh, located on Sketchfab. <coughs> uh, it does have some missive stuff. Uh, possibly some transparent stuff as well. I think that might be what that black stuff is. Uh, so we'll set that as fade. Uh, and then a normal lap, uh, and then an OBJ file. Uh, as you can see, new Blender 2.8. It's got a lot of stuff that I know how to use from other modeling programs, uh, preferably Z Modeler, or mainly Z Modeler, because that's the one that I actually know how to use. Um, still haven't figured out how to put textures on here quite yet. Uh, just started learning this one yesterday so I figured I'd go in here and separate the bayonet, the body, the magazine, and the sight while I don't while I'm not recording so it's not taking three hours of the recording uh, actually only took about a half an hour so I might be better off with this than I thought um, but unity Still using the same 2017.4.29F1. <sighs> Imports. Born Beast. Items. That is a new game object. I forgot that we can't do that. Right click. Create. Folder. Guns. So we need a guns folder, a magazines folder, I think. I don't know. Yeah, guns, magazines. Sites, and then since we have a bayonet, I think that might be under tacticals. Bayonet, yes, okay. Wrong one. This one. There we go. Yeah, okay. Had to make sure I spelled tacticals right. Didn't didn't look right. Um, okay, so then under completed we can put the same thing. Guns sights. Tacticals. And magazines. So now, from this point, we just need. Uh, well, before we import anything, uh, we need to go to items and find a weapon. This looks most like the Zubeknikov. So we're going to copy this stuff. We don't need the texture. Um, we're going to copy this. Oh. Uh, guns holder. So, melee knife, born beast. So this is going to be... What do we want to name this? Uh, crossfire AK-47. Probably a 30 round mag, so. Or actually. And we'll go 45. Looks a little extended, so we'll go 45. Crossfire AK 47. Underscore. 
45 for the magazines. Alright. Eh. Underscore. Sights. Crossfire. AK-47 underscore iron sights plural uh, and then tactical alrighty so now that we got all that stuff down close up all that and then we'll go back down here to the Zbiktikov. Go back up here. The only one's the only one that we don't need to open. And we're going to copy all of that stuff in. And since we're using the Zbiktikov, we can close out guns now. Go to magazines. We can find Zbiktikov. Where that one is? That one's not in here. Why, why is that one under? Oh, that uses Ranger. That's why. Ranger 35. And then we need sights and tactical. So sights. Vectical iron sights. And tactical's bayonet. Perfect. We should not need anything else from here. So now, what I found to be the easiest way is uh, go to item, expand it uh, in in the gun solder of the vanilla weapon. Uh, click on that. Click model zero. That's going to send you to here. And this is an FBX, so just drag this out onto your desktop. Uh, make sure that you press and hold left control. Okay, any control works. Uh, when you release left click to copy it. Um, and then... Remove that back over there. And that's an FBX file, so then we're going to import an FBX file called model underscore zero. That didn't work. Ah. Okay, I found out that Blender 2.8 has a downfall. Okay. Well, anywho, uh, it looks like the rotation is... Looks like it's all rotated this way, so... We're going to go 9 degrees. At least if that deserves to make everything a little bit more precise. And then we're going to export this as an OBJ. My first time exporting, so hopefully this goes halfway decent. Now we're just going to put this up here and... Not as objects, as groups. That I know. Then we should be able to title this. Crossfire AK47.OPJ. Export. Now we're going to make sure that we minimize that in case I don't have the right rotation. I'm going to close all that. That's just unnecessary stuff. Uh, guns. We have to copy all of the other folders. I'm 
We're going to copy that name just to make it all easier. Right? 45? Yeah, that's 45. That's what we want with. Underscore iron. Iron. Site. Iron sites. Wonderful. Alright, so now we gotta find. Uh, and we only have one texture, so we actually don't need the material list. Uh, I'm gonna drag that over to my other monitor. That one doesn't import for some reason, so we're going to delete that. Not that. We want this. Drag that in there. Looks like the orientation's pretty good. Alright, so, looks like we might be good. Uh, the only thing that we're going to use from this is this one right here. It's the only mesh we're going to use. Um, so now, from here, we can import our three textures. And here we can also import our three textures. And our OBJ. We can import our OBJ here along with our three textures and also our three textures and the OBJ. Alright, now this one we gotta go normal map apply and this one we have to go nothing. Yet. We don't we don't do anything with that yet. All this stuff we gotta change to normal map. I was going to do this in two parts, seeing as we're already 12 minutes in, and we still haven't even started this stuff yet. It's still just setting up. Uh, scale factor, you don't have to change that yet. Uh, looks like we're good on that. Move this back over here just for some unknown reason. Uh, that we can minimize now. Now we should be able to start. Dragging that up there. Change all these to zero, just to make it easier. Double click on that, that'll bring us to that. As soon as I figure out how to work this here Unity. Um, <coughs> we don't need that. that. That we can get rid of. And then just test this out and drag that in there and yes, that is the right orientation. So we can exit out of this safely. We can safely exit out of that. And we exported as an OBJ over here, so we can always re-import the OBJ and have everything separated. Um and that looks a little big. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna import another one of these. Set this all to zero. So we can get a size comparison. And then we're going to scale this thing way down. Point zero 0.08 looks about right. So I can believe both of these. There you go on here. We're going to change this to 0 0.08. Apply, copy that, and then we're going to change everything to 0 0.08. This way, when we drag stuff into Unity, it's all the same size. We don't need to drag that in there. We can go. Drag that back in here. Change all that stuff back. Double click that. Open that up. Redelete model underscore one. Then we should be able to replace that and have it be pretty much good. Um, 
We should be able to change the offset a little bit, but uh, we'll worry about that in a minute. We'll worry about all that stuff too. So now, here comes the tricky part. Because we have a bayonet, an iron sight, and a magazine. Normally we just have the magazine and the iron sight. Uh, well, regardless, we're going to uh, do this the easy way. So, magazine, drag that in there. Change that all to zero. Doesn't line up, right? Move that into here. Change all that. That would be where the magazine would go on the other end. However, it's not where it goes on ours. So, open that up. That one is also model underscore zero. So we should, should be able to drag that over there. And that'll get that right. Actually, it's pretty close. That might even be where it's supposed to be. So, our life might be really easy. Uh, same thing with the iron sights, drag the sight out, drag the sight into there, reset everything. Now this has aim in it, so we have to make sure to drag that out. Or actually, no, we're replacing it all, so. Should be able to reset that stuff to there, and drag sight into there. Okay, so not everything works the way I wanted it to. Alright, so I'm still in there. Sight is reset to zero. So now we need the bayonet. So tactical. Tactical it goes in the tactical slot. <coughs> we don't need both of these, so we're going to delete model underscore one. Tactical is going to be reset position-wise. And then the model is going to be changed to our bayonet. Which is rotated the wrong direction. But it should be fine because it's not tactical, it's model underscore zero, so we should be able to reset that and have it be fine in-game. Um, we'll reset all that stuff. And then we'll, we'll have to change that. Okay, so from this point, we need something to reference the positions off of. Right? So that's where this comes in. That's when we drag that in. Change this to... Ninety, and then we're just going to move everything to that position. So the weapon might possibly be in the right spot. Yep, weapon's in the right spot. Magazine has to be moved. So now this magazine node's in the right spot. Uh, the site. Pretty dang close. 
And then the only thing is we have the tactical. And you know it's pretty close if you move it and it gets this kind of mesh stuff. That's how you know it's pretty close because it's when you move your screen it's half overlapping the textures. So that means it's really close. Uh, the one thing I noticed is the barrel right here seems to only be textured on one side of the valley guns. It could just be the Zubeknikov texture. Possibly. I don't know. Uh, so now that we have that, we can delete that. Or actually. Okay, no. That isn't the right spot. It didn't look like it for a second. Um. Okay, so we need a material for this. So we take our non emissive, drag it up over that, that textures that. Now we have material to work with. We can make this emissive, and actually, let's see if any of this. See if that one works. We'll just go fade. Because I, I really don't know if any of that's done. But check emissive and then click back over here, drag our normal map into normal map, and our emissive into the emission. There we go, everything needs to glow glows. Then we can copy that. forget you can't copy. That is how you must copy. Then this is the magazine, so magazine that goes there. And drag this into both of these. Sites, L underscore zero, and ban it. And if I'm not mistaken, you can also drag it onto here, and that'll change it. So, not really sure that'll be a test. Oh, and it's fades, so the whole gun's transparent. Okay, nope. We can't have that. That's opaque. That's opaque. I think this is the only one that's fading. Okay, so we'll have to see if that stuff's invisible in-game. We may have to select that, separate it, and double it up. Same thing with the front end of that barrel. Everything else seems to be fine. Or maybe just edit in a polygon or so and fill in that area. But that's all that stuff. Uh, the site. We can then drag all of this stuff out. So the site we can drag out. The tactical we can drag out. And the magazine we can drag out. So magazine, tactical, will all have movement stuff on it. That one probably wouldn't matter, or that one, because it's so small. Same thing with any of these, but... Uh, from here, we don't want to move Sight Tactical Barrel. We can move because we don't have a barrel attachment. So that will go in the center of the barrel. 
Up about even. It's about halfway up. <coughs> Looks pretty close. Let's see, about halfway through there. A little below half, a little above half, so that should be right in the middle. So the barrel should be good. Uh, eject is just where the empty shells are going to come out, so we shall put that. Where do the bullets come out? come out of here. It's a good spot for it. Icon, component, camera. Orthographic perspective. That'll be point five ish. Then we're just going to copy transformation component. Copy the paste component values onto icon 2 so that icon 2 is in the exact same position as icon 1. Uh, grip. Where would the grip go? Probably under here somewhere or something. zero on the X, so we know that's in the right spot. Effect, I believe, is where the flash comes from when shooting, so that'll be in the same spot as the barrel. The only thing is negative 90, negative 180, and this one doesn't have anything. So, the easiest way is probably just to copy and paste, copy, and paste. Stat tracker, not really sure what this does. I think it's if you have some sort of special thing and whatnot, we'll put that on. That by default is on that side, so we're going to move over here. And since we moved it over here, we have to rotate it 180 degrees around the y-axis. That 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 that. So from here, and we all, we overwrote the mesh, so we don't have to change the light probes off from blend probes. Uh, so here we just delete that, move that back down to three percent, and add whichever one doesn't give you an error. So. Recalculate, remove this, and 
and it's going to spawn with the bayonet on it. So we're going to put that, oops. We're going to put that all the way out there. Because otherwise, if it lands on this face, the bayonet will stick through the ground. And the X is at maximum capacity. We don't have to change any tags because we just replaced mesh. All that stuff is good. So from here, we can go back up here, delete item, and drag item down into here. We can then delete the item. Magazine. Magazine is done. You can reset this at this point if you want. Tactical should be done. Oh. Magazine is not done. Now my things done. Tactical no longer has model underscore one, so it no longer needs the LED one. Now the tactical's done. Now the sight has aim. So with this, the camera is up there. So in order to do this, we need to rotate it to negative 90 and 180, I think. That should be right. Orthographic, change that. In the center of this, is going to be wherever you're aiming. Hmm. You seem to have a complication with the site, with that being there. That and this is too high. So even with that not obstructing it, that would be what it would look like aiming down the site. We could aim it down, but then the site's going to be inaccurate. So, we're going to have to do that and load it. Because there's nothing I can do about that. So now the aim is done. We didn't change the rotation at all. So we'll change that back, remove that. far back as we want it. 
maybe bring it up a little bit. And then just redo that. And redo that. Then from here, it's pretty simple. Uh, just figure iron sights, iron sights, copy that item, reset this position. This will be off, don't worry about it. Don't worry about the camera. So, uh, material for iron sight. About in the middle. So point one five for the camera. Sorry if I'm not very talkative, I'm trying to concentrate, maybe. Um, I should probably talk more. So, I know this could go on a little further. Alright, so now that that's all done, you don't have to click that again. Uh, anything that is less than 0.2, we need to change to 0.2. That's over, so we're good there. So, the iron sights are officially done. Magazine. that. Come down here and move this. Now that we're just going to have to change back, so. We'll just leave that everything else is above, so we're good. I can't. An orthographic. Where is this at? There we go. Now it's visible. Drag that closer. Point two, what about point four? Point four is a little far. Three, three, five might be good. Because it'll be a one by two. 
the slide will be a one by one band it'll probably be a one by three and then the gun will be a two by four uh, so I'm trying to remember what the other one was I think one point point one five for the site point three five for the mag So, hey, I don't delete, delete, drag them back down. Then we're gonna add component, add that, do that, and just put point zero point three five. Then for the site, we're gonna re-import the site. Um. Do icon? Yes. Dad is going to watch the news. It's about 6.30 right now. Dad's going to watch the news until 7. So if I have too close. And then we're watching Sleepy Hollow after that. And we're going to be eating somewhere in between that time. Between now and 7. Oh. But this way you have plenty of time to plan. Too. We're watching it at 7. Yeah. Okay? Okay? Yes! Yeah, point one five. And then the bayonet we can do. Yeah, the whole thing. There we go. We won't need that. It's like she didn't even realize I was recording. Mesh change. It'll be close enough because we rotated it. And the other thing, this is just the I yeah, this is just the item, so this orientation doesn't matter. It's the other orientation on the weapon that matters. So like not item is just on the ground, so that doesn't really matter for position. This should be the only way that we need to change. Yeah. Because the other way is just gonna interfere with it. Should probably do this one too though. Just because this way it'll center it. This way. I mean it's centered this way already, so. Oop. I always hit that. Uh, camera, orthographic. I'm sure that I zoomed in too far. Yeah, that's right. That, yeah, that's oriented, right? Point five, about point four, or about point three. Point three works. So we'll remove, and this we can drag down into the bayonet. Hide that just so we can click on this and see what it is. Right there. So now that we're done with all that, so now this is done. Uh, if you want a custom hammer sound or custom load sound, custom shoot sound. Uh, just change this stuff in here, just make it MP3, MP3, and MP3. I was just checking to make sure that there weren't any uh, OGG files or anything. 
Oh, did you use a real or uh, easier for unturn to repeat? Uh, so I thought maybe the shoot one would be, but uh, so that stuff's all set and everything's good everywhere else. So now we can go over here, bundle, grab, bundle, desktop, save. Wait for that to get done. And that was point six, I believe. Grab, bundle, save. Oop. Grab, bundle, save. Grab, bundle, and save. So now, We can minimize that for now, just because we're going to need the icon information. And now, from here, I'm going to copy that and put that in imports, born beast items, guns. Tacticals, uh, sights, crossfire, AK-47, and actually we're going to need to uh, do that, so... There we go. Alright, so now we can go... Yeah, I got a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> uh, this one, this one, this one. Copy. We're going to paste that in here, and then just copy, 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 and move. So that stuff's all good. Because that's all the imports. Exports. here I'm going to copy that paste that over here so we have all the folders already named AK47 I'm going to uh, paste that magazines slates and bayonet and we're going to start with the sites first so hunter under directory bundles can I do this? yes I can a third monitor over here, so it's not currently on, so I can't see if I drag stuff over there. Uh, items. Guns. We went off the Zubeknikov, so we're going to copy that stuff. Rename this. To that. Edit. Delete. 
Rarity, let's see. Most of it's blue. Blue with a little bit of gold. I don't know. Should we make this mythical? I think we got to. Mythical, usable gun, slot, primary. ID, we're going to put a custom one in here. So, 15, 2, 4, 40 is already taken. 45, I think, is the one that I left off on. Can't tell. That way, that way. Size Z. Oh. Size Z is camera 1. Size 2 Z is... Or, well, that's... Size Z is icon, size 2 underscore Z is icon 2, but they're the same, so they require the same. Uh, sight is going to be whatever the sight is, and actually... Alright, let's look those up. Let's figure out which one we left off on. What was the last thing that I uploaded? Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken... I want to say it was the bed, but I feel like it's not the bed. Medical kit, maybe? No, oh, the pumpkin grenades. That was the last thing that I did. 36. Should be 37 and 38. Yep. Set a few other things. 31. Oh no, this is the last one they did. 240. Which one's 39? This one's 39? This one's 31. What the heck? Um, Thirty-five, and then thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Which one's 39? Oh, the bed. The bed might be 39. Are you 39? No, you're 32. Oop. What is 39? Refills? Rolls, supplies. Is this one 39? No. Which one's 39? I'm gonna go out on a limb here, say that I just kinda randomly named this one. This one should work. With 39. Which means that this one going on? This one going on Born Reese. This one is going to be 41 because 240 is the caliber. Slight tactical grip barrel. L minimum. 44, no maximum, 45, safety, semi, auto, and you can also put a burst in here, so, I think that's how you put it in there. That's that. The next one up is the site. 
so. Or not, next one up is a magazine. Why is that one down there? Fifteen two forty two, fifteen two forty three, and fifteen two forty four. Fire rate, that's how fast it shoots uh the bigger the no no. Alright, well let's go. Go look something else up here. That's the wrong. One. That's the real one. Fire rate one. Fire rate seven. Okay, so the bigger the number, the slower it shoots. So honestly, I think four is pretty good. Damage, yeah, sure, we're just gonna leave all that stuff the same. Close my point one. Uh, we're gonna make it require five metal scrap to repair. And it requires a level one repair skill. Uh, this is the ID of this, so, 15241, when you scrap it, it gives you five metal scrap, and it only has one output. Two blueprints, zero, one. That's the end. Page down and down. Exclude. Yep, just make sure I spell exclude right. Uh, exclude from master bundle. So in the uh, I set it in my vehicle tutorial and my melee weapon tutorial, I believe, but this is only needed for Unity 2017. Uh, this version changes to 3 for Unity 2018, but that's the default one, so you don't really need to put that in there. Uh, that is in there to prevent mishaps with the texturing. Uh, so we have all of our stuff set, so we're good. So this is all done besides this, so... And if we want this either red or blue or whatever, uh, sure, why not? We'll, cha we'll change it to rare. Uh, color equals rare, and then just at the end of whatever text you want, slash color, just basic HTML coding. Change this to rare. So 
so the gun is done. The magazine is next. So items, magazines, Ranger 35, copy that stuff, rename this. Rare, perfect. One five two forty two is this one on the X, two on the Y, and we had this at point three five, I believe. I don't know, we shall delete that. Retag that. Retag that. And retag that. Yes, point three five. Amount 45. Count minimum 44. Count maximum 45. Caliber is 1. Caliber 0 is 15 to 40. Tracer 48 needs to be there. Blueprint uh, 3 ID 15 to 40. Build 45 type ammo. Um, and we're going to change that to 1 because this stuff is just, oh well you can use a ranger ammunition box or a low caliber ranger ammunition box, low caliber ranger, or ranger magazine and then ring, ranger drum. I don't know if those are the exact ideas for magazine and drum. That's what I'm guessing. So, that's all done. Oh, nope, supply. That's gonna be 42. So now you can use these magazines to put more ammo in these magazines. Which doesn't really make any sense, but... I don't know. But, say I have... So... Where is this one? Right here. This is the one we're doing now. The next one. So, Broken Ice is just a diff pretty much a different texture on it. It looks a little different too. Well, it's got a silencer on it so that it has a barrel attachment uh, rather than just the bayonet. Um, but we can change this to 2 and go blueprint underscore 1 type ammo Build one underscore supplies one. We're going to one supply. Actually, it's easier. We just do this. Copy, paste, one. One. And then say that magazine is 15 to 45. You change that to 245, and you'd also put this into the 245 magazine one. So then these magazines, the regular AK 47 magazines, you can use the bullets from that and put them into this. And you can also use the bullets from this and put them into this. Now, if these both magazines were roughly the same size and the center points were in the same spot, you could use this magazine in this gun and this magazine in this gun. 
then they would use the same caliber. If not, you'd have to use both of them having different calibers. Um, and for whatever reason, if this magazine fits in this gun, but this magazine doesn't fit in that gun, then under this magazine, you'd have this one set to caliber this and the caliber for that specific gun. Which may be a bit confusing, but yeah, that's that's the way unturned works. That's unturned for you. So uh, yeah, save that. Or actually delete that. Save it again. Make sure that's the right. Yep, okay. English. Gonna need a magazine capitalized or colored blue. Uh, sure, why not? We'll make forty five blue as well. So, magazine's done. Sights. ID fifteen two forty three right yes one by one and the guys first sight was point one five so we don't want that so we can get rid of that sight was point one five um, we can go we can set the rarity of it. stuff in there so we have the type the rarity and the correct ID and the size so that's all done besides this Tacticals. Bayonet. Oh, an easier way to do that. Just double click on that. With a little pause in between select or between clicks, because otherwise it'll try to open it. Um, and also you have to click on the text, or, nope, it worked in Blender, but you, apparently you can't press on the control and click on it and automatically enter, edit the text, um, but copy that, paste it over here, it's probably the easiest way. Rarity, rare, perfect. Fifteen two forty three. Size three wide by one high. 
and this was 0.3 camera scale. Okay, so now that we're done with that, now we can exit that. 0.3, uh, the melee tag makes it, well, melee. Um, Tool supplies output. Okay, so this is for scrapping. Mm, we'll make give off three. I don't know what fourteen thirty nine is. So we're just gonna delete that. I was just saying, um, alright, so that uh, extra blueprint was just saying that you can craft it into something else. That's a, that's all that was saying. So if we wanted to, we could make the, bay the regular bayonet be able to be crafted into um, this bayonet. And then I think we might be able to allow this bayonet to be scrapped and turned into that bayonet. That'd be a way around editing the bayonet file so that you can craft the bayonet from this. But, yeah, so, right ID, right size, that stuff at the bottom. We're good on that. Hyphen. Space. Side mounted sword. It's as good a description as any. And then from here. So that's all changed. GUIDs are wiped. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, because Born Beast. That was BB, and then it was I started out at 200. So, so actually, we're gonna change that right now. So that is that one. So this one is O2 because caliber is O1 and that means this is O3, this one's O4, and that one's O5. So, magazine, that one, with the O1 as the caliber, actually I've got to change this down here, and O1 is the caliber, so we need to go O2, yes, O2, O2 is the gun, O3 is the mag, with O1 as the caliber, a three is the mag. O four is the iron sights. And O five is the bayonet. So two 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 O two is where we're starting. 
So we're going to copy that, paste that into here, replace three files, it's just the knife. I had the knife in from before. Uh, so that stuff's all set. Turns out building a gun is way faster. Well, not really way faster, but it's kind of faster than uh, we're just going to launch that without battle eye. Should launch because I'm logged into Steam. We may possibly have to connect my hotspot for a sec. Nope, launch is perfect. Uh, first thing we're going to check when we get in is the workshop to make sure that there's no errors for whatever reason. Uh, personally, for me, the only errors I really get anymore are uh, for forgetting to delete the icon. It just goes, uh, failed to initialize object, yada yada yada. Uh, icon has a camera attached. So. That's really the only possible errors that you could get by doing this, is just forgetting to take a camera out. You don't get anything like missing item, or at least you shouldn't, for whatever reason. Um. But yeah. So while we're waiting for this to load, uh... Real quick, I want to say that I do actually read the comments. Um, the guy who requested this video, I replied to him within two minutes. I mean, I happened to be—I happened to just be getting on break from work, um, so that's why I responded that that fast. Um, I told him. Yeah, I'll upload this within the next few days, but I'm going to go watch me some Sleepy Hollow after this, but uh, the TV show, not the movie. Realize there's a movie, so got to specify it now. Specificity is key. Um, Alright, so workshop, air logs. Ah, see this? Oh, missing blueprint type. Uh, okay. Alright, blueprint type for the magazine. So, let's fix that real quick. Where'd the other one go? Ah! That's why. Why is it like that? over there. Blueprints 2. There you go. Now it's fixed. And from here we can just copy that stuff back to bundles, replace it all, and then we're going to minimize all that stuff real quick. Then we can hit page up and it'll quick reload everything. If you're on a map and you hit page and you replace something in the game files and hit page up to reload the game files you do have to spawn in whatever you changed you have to respawn it in because otherwise it, it won't be changed um, if it's a vehicle you gotta respawn in the vehicle weapon respawn in the weapon uh, barricade if you've placed it you have to salvage it drop it spawn in another one place that one I guess you could just spawn in another barricade and place that somewhere else, but tidiness is key. Um, but, yeah, if you haven't already, check out my melee weapon building tutorial. See how it's still up here? Just hit reload. Boom! There we go. Goodbye. Alright, no errors. Play. Single player. PEI. A lot of cheat codes. Play offline. Just because PEI loads the fastest. Um, we yeah, have vehicle tutorial, like I have one of those two. So my DPI is really high. Uh, 
slash give 22202. That should be the weapon with the sight bayonet. Now the bayonet's rotated. No. Okay. Got me some angel wings. You saw nothing. There's not tons of storage. Magazine, sight, bayonet. Bayonet's rotated weird, so we gotta fix that. Um, text is in blue. 45 rounds in the mag. Bayonet is all the way back there. Iron sights can be detached and reattached. Well then, because that's a thing. Normally, you would, uh... Scene. Right. Drop it on the ground. Perfect. Sight. Drop it on the ground. Perfect. Gun. Drop it on the ground. Perfect. That needs to be rotated from the front of the gun 90 degrees clockwise. So we'll do that. And then we will also fix the sights. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely show you guys how to fix the sights. And uh, yeah, so that when you put another sight on here, uh, just random sight should be 16, I think. Nope. What did 16 give me? A campfire axe. Well, we can't use that. Uh, 21 of the Sidex scope. Yeah, see where it is? Yep. That is why we cannot do that. Because right now it's putting it somewhere down here. That's the center point of the site. So, we shall fix that. So, back up to uh, Unity, and we can stay in-game too, because we're just going to be replacing the uh, Unity 3D file, and then reloading the game files, so we can stay in-game for that. Unless, of course, Unity wants to crash on you, if you don't have a very good PC. Mine's halfway decent. So from this point, we need the gun. And item is fine, we just need sight. So sight goes in sight. Never run. No, it doesn't. Cancel that. We need to drag out model zero. We'll hide model zero for a sec. This we shall drag up to turn the DPI all the way down on the mouse. Alright, so that is set to be in the middle on the very back corner. That looks kind of bad. But 
From this point, you don't want to change this position. This position is fine. I guess position here, we can reset that. But, actually, hang on, don't drag that in yet. Drag that into there, and then we should just be able to copy the components, and then paste the values in that. Yep, that'll that'll drag that over there because the uh, yep the rotation was zero zero zero. So copying that stuff will be fine, and then dragging that in there. Because then if we drag in that in there, then this site is set to zero. So, that is how you properly do the site. I apologize. So then we just delete this. We drag that out. We delete that then. And then, item we moved that site. So we have to re-export that. And then, or actually, tactical. Tactical could be laser sight or anything. So, Tactical, we can copy those components, and we don't want to we don't want to change that. We want to change this. So we need to rotate this. We need to drag that out, and see how that's that. Nope. Right? No. How does that look in game? Yeah, we do need to rotate that clockwise. So, clockwise 90 degrees, so 0, 90, and negative 90. And then, we put that in there, we can go here and rotation's good, so base component values. Then drag that out, drag that out of there. should be just negative 90. And that was zero, so this should just be straight up 90. There we go. So now... I don't know if you actually have to redo the LOD. I think I don't think so because 
It's just the same model, but uh, you may need to. Uh, and then just re-export everything that you changed. So we changed the gun. We didn't change the magazine. We changed the sight. And we changed the bayonet. Windows key D sends you back to this screen. You may need to close your game to do this. I'm going to drag that stuff over to that screen so that I can actually do stuff. So, Crossfire AK 47. We're going to press an old shift and then replace and then refresh and this one is in the imports folder or the uh, unheard export folder so this is the old DAT file because in here in the game files under guns and uh, this one it has a GUID this one does not. It's got everything else but the GUID. N honestly, not really sure if we need to reset the I the GUID if we change something. But, I mean, it doesn't hurt to try. When you upload these, though, you do want the GUID. Because otherwise, everyone will have a different GUID for it, their game will create one for them, um, and then servers will not work right. Uh, so if, if you have somebody saying, oh well my thing's not working in, in my server, uh, double check to make sure that you uploaded it to the workshop with the GUID. And then here, we can go back over here, copy that, go back over here. Paste that, replace all the files, and it says copying 26 items, 15 files with the same names. There's 15 files, but if you split the difference, there's 11 folders. So this, so the items consists of the folders as well. So now from here. We can minimize that, minimize that, go over here, page up. Now that AK-47 on the ground, that'll stay messed up. We have to re-import it. Or, uh, respawn it, rather. But yeah, just real quick, back to my uh, off-topic rant from a while ago, when we first started loading up Unturned. Um, I do read all my comments. I mean, I only have 22 subscribers right now, so not very big, and I can read all the comments. So, I I mean, even, even if I do get big, which hopefully happens... Um, I'll still try and read everybody's comments. Uh, I still get an email for every comment that is posted, I guess it'd be. Um, so, if you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see, uh, let me know. We're going to pick up that too. So, bayonet's fixed. Sides are kind of fixed. I mean, they're they're about as good as the gun's gonna get. Tacticals up there now. And.
we go to the ammo tab, Crossfire AK-47 magazine with Crossfire AK-47 magazine. Why that does that effect, I have no idea. In some servers, it does random effects. This one apparently does a blank explosion. That's a first. I've seen hay effects on servers before when doing that. But. Never quite a, uh, never, never an explosion. So, that that's a new one. Oh, uh, bayonet. Scrap it for three metal scrap. Don't mind that ten cloth for the angel wings. Um, but this way it's a little more realistic for if you're putting a laser sight or a, the vanilla bayonet on it or a range finder, it's a little more realistic. Um, same thing with the barrel. So it's not, I think it was like over here before. This way it doesn't put the barrel over here. Um, you'd have to look at the uh, center axis nodes for different scopes and whatnot to see what exact, like if you plan on putting a vanilla scope on the gun, you'd have to look at those axes and then you wouldn't change the axis for the vanilla sights. You just change the sight location. So, if you were to do that, you would take you would take a gun, right? And you drag the vanilla sight into here, and then there'd be that other sight as a child to this node you'd click on that and reset the position of it and then you'd move this site to put to position the site where you want it to or where like wherever you want it on the gun and then you just drag the other site out delete that and then that would be the position that you'd want this node to be in uh, same thing with tactical grip, everything. So, uh, yeah, so it works. It's in game. Uh, uploading's a bit weird. Uh, workshop submit, it'd be. Item. This would go under gun, ready to use, public, a lot of IPs. Uh, the preview image, that's that main image for it. Uh, you can add other images later on. Uh, just... Those don't change that main image. Um, and then, actually, if you're updating a workshop mod just put the collection path in here of the new file S definitely set a new preview image of the new updated version set a picture of that in here because that changes that main icon that you can't change without doing this uh, all the other upload individually uploaded Images you can change that stuff whenever you want. Remove them, add new ones, and everything like that. Uh, change note you don't have to worry about because you can change that in uh, the Steam Workshop. Um, but yeah, definitely if you're updating a mod, you don't have to put a name in. Just set the collection path of the new file. Set the preview. Set the selection. So set the collection path of the new preview image. The main unchangeable image besides doing this is the only way that you can change it. And then say, say you have all that done, then just click one of these down here, and it'll update that mod. It might take a minute, 
to work. What I usually do is I click on it, wait like five seconds, and then uh, shift tab into the Steam overlay, and then just shift tab out of it, and then just sit on the screen until it loads. Just to double check to make sure that Steam Overlay is actually on. Like, Steam Overlay is not on right now because I launched it from the EXE and not from Steam. Um, that and I also, in GTA, I kept running and going to tab to a weapon and it opened the overlay. So I changed it to Control Tab. Is the overlay now? But. But yes, that is it. An hour and 41 minutes to make a gun. With a tactical, might I add. So, that's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, check out my uh, melee weapon tutorial and my vehicle tutorial. Be sure to do. Be sure to watch the uh, the update for the vehicle one as well, because it's got some important information in there that I didn't cover in the main video. Um, also. If you guys have any suggestions of anything else you'd like to see, maybe a scope or something like the 8X, uh, let me know. That'll be it for this one. Uh, see you in the next one. Peace.